What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Stardew Valley where we just got done bombing on fools. We went to that little farmer's convention thing and then we won first place and got tons of star tokens. Because they don't even know us like that. And we got a fedora now which we bought with our star tokens so that we could let our neck beard grow so long and so strong and so awesome. Let's go outside. It sounds like it's raining which means I don't have to do any work today. Which is fantastic. Is there ever... that's... I think that's one of the best things that can happen when you wake up in the morning, is you just have no work to do that day, but like, yes! I mean, unless you really, really, really need the work right then, and business has been slow, and like, maybe you gotta close down your business if you don't get more business. I can understand that, but it looks like I need to cut down, apparently, amaranth, I suppose. We were growing that for some purpose. I think it was actually for a quest, I think... Yeah, Demetrius needed a melon, and then... Marnie wanted us to give her cows a special treat and we actually had to go down there anyways because we got to buy our cow houses done and so we got to get ourselves some cow spacing going on I also need to store away some of these items because I apparently didn't do that after I got done I probably had other things to do or something I don't know I leave messes for myself to clean up it's an obnoxious habit that I have in all of this YouTube stuff one thing can be assured I will leave a mess for myself to clean up and I hate myself for it every single time I hate myself like, I find out what I've done, and then I notice it, and I'm just like, I left this for myself to clean up later because I didn't feel like doing it three days ago. All right, then. Hooray for me. But either way, we got to empty out our inventory because we got too much stuff sitting around. It's in here for a reason. Like, it's in here because last time we were... Yeah, organize that stuff for me, please. Last time we were trying to get things together, gold star items for the farmer's market so that we could get ourselves 90 points and win first place. I wasn't sure if I was going to get it all together, but at the end of the day, we ended up having just enough. We hit it by 94. I know it's possible to do, like, I think it was 9 items, and you can get, like, 18 to 20 points per item. So we got to, or no, not 18. I think you can get maybe, hmm, it was 9 items, and I think the highest point value you can get is 16 per item. And so we could have made a lot. Wow, this is actually pretty big and spacious in here. This is a nice little domicile, although I would recommend against the wood flooring. Cows are going to just piss and shit all over that. It's going to be... You ever seen a cow pee? A cow can be... They can be filled up pretty high. I mean, a cow... There's a lot of pee inside of a cow. They, they are capable, quite capable, in fact, of just putting all kinds of pee all over surfaces. And since they don't really seem to care where they pee most of the time... I'd be slightly worried about it. I just wouldn't even bother with the wood floor. But maybe these are special cows that like that laminate flooring. They like that good stuff. They just can't get by unless their feet are on top of expensive stuff that even my house doesn't have. We'll have to think about it later, though. We've got a common mushroom right here. That sounds pretty good. Grab ourselves as a skeleton. The undead are trying to escape from Leo's house. See, I knew there was a reason I didn't feel good about that girl. I knew there was a reason that I selected... What was her name? <laughs> Penny. Oh, that's terrible. Can't even remember her name. Let's go inside the shop. We gotta buy ourselves some aminals here. Wipe your feet. That's funny. She says that only when it rains, I think. We've got this right here. Oh, the amaranth that I asked for. Thank you so much. My cows are gonna love this. I didn't know that cows would eat amaranth. I didn't know amaranth was a grass. I thought an amaranth was like a flower. 500 bucks for amaranth? Oh my god, we gotta farm more amaranth. Good god, that's so much amaranth. Does Marnie like us enough to go into her room now? Oh, cool. Well, there's the lucky purple shorts. Got to return it to Mayor Lewis. He was apparently laying his Mac down with Marnie at some point. And she just never cleans up the house. It's been like 80 days since his underwear were on the floor. We need to purchase animals, and we can get dairy cows. They can be milked daily. A milk pail is required to harvest the milk. Lives in the barn. Do they have to grow up first? Either way, let's buy a couple of cows. I think it goes faster if you mouse over the side. Snaboo. This one's name is... Mo Wait, what? I can have hearts and like... What? Yay, this cow's name is Hardy. I didn't even know I could use those little emojis and stuff. Now I know. I'll send little Hardy to her new home right away. I said I wanted a male cow, though, and you gave me the female ones. I guess dairy cows are always female, aren't they? But don't they need to be keep like don't they need to be kept like constantly pregnant to keep lactating, or have they just been bred to the that one's name is Coca? That's a little bit of a rough name right there for a cow. I don't know if I want to name I might get the DEA involved. I'll probably name this one. This one's name will be Greasy. I think Greasy has one. I don't think it has an EY at the end. How many Greasies can we have? Can I put four inside of here? I'm gonna keep buying them until they say there's no more room. 
Pan and scan over. This one's name will be called Hooflet. And then I need a milk. A thousand dollars for a milk pail? Marnie, you extortionist. Oh my god. Brutal. Stab you with a sword to get cows for free because I have no other options. You've driven me to this point of desperation. She's like, I know what kind of money you're making over there. Now pay me for the cow, bitch. I'm like, ow, Marnie. Be more friendly. This is a kind neighborhood we live in. What do I want to name this one? Oh, I don't know. This one's name will be Ribbons. Hooray. How many cows can I have inside of my place? Is it four? I think I've bought four so far. Yeah, we're full up. Alright, so let's go investigate our cows and see what those are going on with them. Cows? Come forth, cows. I wish to inspect you. In my ceremonial fedora of inspection. Ceremonial? That's how you really say it. That's how the really, really talented people say it. I don't think cows eat hay. I, I think they eat grasses, not dried grasses, though. Do cows eat hay? Hmm. I can let them out. It's got, like, another door right here. Do they start out little? Oh, look, they start out little. I'm gonna pet them. Greetings, cows. Let us all be friends. Got the hopper over here, which surprisingly does not hop. I've never seen it hop even once. And yet, somehow, it maintains the title of hopper. Pretty smug about it, too. Always bringing up, that's why they call me the Hopper. I'm like, you know what, Hopper? Nobody likes you. Nobody likes you, Hopper. I'm going to put a heater inside of here. I probably need to put a second one inside of the... Oh, man, you guys only dropped one egg? How come you guys ain't producing eggs no more? Oh, man. Chicken's up in here just being all lazy, playing cards all day, and doing no work, and contributing to the success of the farm. Can't be having that. That's a mess. Alright, so a little bit of cash stowed away right now. We got the shorts. Apparently those are a silver star item. I had no idea, but that's going to need to be dealt with sooner rather than later. The milk pail, how full up does the milk pail get? And then what do I make? Do I make like a cheese machine or something? I have a cheese press. I need copper, wood, stone, and... Okay, the cheese press sounds like a pretty pretty solid buy. I'll probably get two or three of those so that I can make some more artisan goods and start earning some money. Now that my farm is like 100% automated anyways and I don't have to do anything with it, it seems like I probably want to start focusing on doing other stuff anyways. It's Wednesday the 17th. I was actually just going to walk around town and see if anybody wanted some more of my mayo. I was going to drop off goodies with people. And then I also needed to check the calendar to make sure that we don't have any super awesome events coming up in the near future. Is this the old people's house or is this the mayor's house? Hey, Mayor Lewis. There's your shorts. You found them. Where? Oh, uh, <laughs> there. I have no idea how they could have gotten there. This stays between you and me. Got it. Did you just threaten to extort me, Mayor? He's going to beat me up if I tell anybody. $750 for a pair of boxers. See, there must be some political intrigue going on right now. He must be trading some kind of state secrets with Marnie for sex. And if the media ever finds out, if they ever find out, it's going to be the end of his tenure as mayor. And so he needs to cover it up by deploying the Stardew Valley Mafia wherever he can. Wherever, whenever, we'll be your skulls together. I'll be here and I've got gear. Don't make me spill my beer. Uh, good stuff. Shakira, Shakira. That was, that was my favorite part of the song. Shakira. Okay, maybe the booty shaking was my favorite part of the song. I'd be lying if I said that that part didn't factor heavily into my conversational topics. This guy said I wasn't ready last time. Am I ready this time around? Oh, I saw a thing down here. Yep, there it is. I see some little hair shaking beneath the surface. Looks like we got some glass shards. I'll probably just sell those out. I think, I don't think they're useful for anything once you've actually put them inside of the, oh, it's like a higher, it's a lower quality urchin, I bet. I don't know why I just did that. I shouldn't have done that. That was stupid. I just got rid of my apple, and I liked my apple. I've got an old amulet to sell, but something tells me you're not ready for it. Oh, man, I'm still not ready, but I've got so much money, and I've got so much success, and I'm balling in this neighborhood, and everybody wants to be me. They're like, oh, here come Figgle Farmer. You know, he got it going on. I want to be with him. That's my impression of people that want to be with Figgle Farmer, in case you didn't know. In case I hadn't made that clear. 
I've got mayo, and it's specifically for Penny. Penny, would you like some of my mayo? Continue being my friend. Thank you, this looks special. Although that time around, she had like a yellow dot. I don't know if she liked it that much. Ooh, she got to four. Ooh, got four hearts. What happens at four hearts? What can, uh, what services can we trade four hearts for? I bet it's just like light petting. Like we're not even at that point yet. Can you have kids and stuff in this game? Like if we can't make the magic happen after all this mayo slinging work, I'm going to be a little bit upset. I feel like our characters earned it. It's just been like 45 days full of blue balling and mayonnaise. And I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. The sin here is like, it hurts so much. Can we please just a little bit of touching? Just a little bit? Please? I've given you so much mayo. Please give me sexual favors. It's all that I wanted. It's all that's the whole reason we started down this mayo strewn path in the first place. It's the only reason why. Let's go back and we'll share off some there. We'll sell off some of these crops. The amaranth, I don't even know what it's worth, but it grew pretty quickly. We can't buy any seeds right now, so we're going to have to wait on that to happen. Our ancient thingamadooby has grown again, but our inventory is full. I think I need some of this stuff for, like, one of the ocean packages or something, but I think I need money more, so I'm just going to sell it. Like, it's an endlessly replenishing supply. It doesn't matter. They always give me more at the end of the day, so I tend to not worry about using up all the little ocean supplies too much. That'll make us some money for the day, but not a ton. We also need to harvest our little thingy over here, an ancient fruit. I'm going to sell this one because I have no idea what they sell for, and they take forever to grow, and so I just like to find out what the sell point is for that. And we've got some corn over here. So get that corn out of my face. I think I'll probably jump inside our chest. And I may just plant some of these rando seeds for now. And there it is. Because I don't really have time to go back. I mean, we got to wait till tomorrow, and then that'll leave us with only like eight or nine days left in the season. I need to go back over and take a look at our... Oh, we got our little honey farm all good to go. Fantastic. Even better. I'm going to sell this honey because I don't know what it sells for either. And I just want to figure out mentally what I can get paid for each of the things that we're getting rid of. Figure out what's worth it, what's not, what I should use for other things. Once we've checked our schedule, we go to the calendar and find out what's happened over the course of the next couple days. Then we're going to go back and we're going to go ahead and make a cheese press. I press the cheese. It's got to be like a vague cut the cheese joke in here somewhere. It's Marnie's birthday tomorrow and yesterday was the Stardew Valley Fair. Robin's birthday is coming up and then George's birthday is coming up and then we've got Spirits Eve, which I assume is like Halloween and so yeah we've only got 10 days left in the season then we're gonna be over at winter which means that before we get there I'll probably need to buy another heater for the cows just to make sure that they're ready to go and then it might not also be the worst of ideas we're gonna be using eight hay a day between our two how much does this hold 240 so with eight a day we gotta last 30 days with eight a day so we actually need to farm up more hay as well so that we can make it through the winter because I don't think they're going to be able to go outside and graze or anything like that. So, while we wait, let's go ahead and farm up a little bit more grass. This is going to take a while, but it's going to be worth it, I can virtually promise you. I wonder if our scythe efficiency, like how much grass we get, is determined by what level our scythe is. I haven't been upgrading my gear much. I'm going to upgrade my watering can, my hoe, and a bunch of other stuff once we get to winter, once we can't grow anything anymore. I heard we just have to forage during that season. That's how we make all of our money. Dungeon exploring and all that kind of stuff. Hmm, they cut me off on the hay front. I think the silo might be full. I think it might stop giving you the tooltip once the silo's full. Close that door off so our chickens don't freeze to death. It might be wise to build a second silo too, just in case. I don't think we're going to need a second silo. Like, I highly doubt we're going to need a second silo, but it might be worthwhile. Close that off. We've already fed everybody. I think our taps are mostly done here. And then we'll have to fiddle around. I also need to rearrange these fields at some point. That's what winter's for. That is what winter is for. And then if I could make three or four more sprinklers, we could basically come back to we come back to spring with a pretty good amount of automated farming on our hands and really just not have to do much aside from hang out and do events. 
7 o'clock at night, I was going to do something. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Before I forget, I'm going to craft some cheese presses. So we got the dwarf scrolls. We'll drop those off in there. I'm going to need wood. I'm going to need stone. I'm also going to need hardwood. And then we need copper bars, too. And whereas I have a couple of them, I don't think I have enough. But that's because I think I was thinking about making a second one of these, too. So there it is. We can smelt a little bit faster now as well. I'm going to go track down a few more targets to go after out here. There's got to be some big stones around that we can break up for maximum stony effort. Although I think most of the meteorite looking stones are down to the south. I need more stone very, very badly. And so if I could bust up eight or nine of the big rocks... That'll give us enough to where we can make the cheese press tomorrow. We'll milk all the cows, and then I'm assuming the cheese press takes a while. Making cheese is a long process. We've got it streamlined down nowadays, but I'm still pretty sure like making stuff like Parmesan, making hard cheeses, I, I think it takes a while. So I won't be surprised or upset if I found out down the line, or I find out down the line, to use the proper tense there, that the cheese has been eluding us. The cheese does stand alone, after all, and the reason it stands alone is because of all that eluding. It eludes everybody, even the people that want to be his friends. The cheese stands alone. The cheese stands alone. Like, how did somebody come up with that line? Like, everything else, you know, like the farmer in the dell and all that kind of stuff, but then the cheese stands alone. Such a random statement. That's how I know non-sequitur humor has been around forever. A little bit more stone right there. Might be enough to get us into a cheese press or two. I don't know. Any more meteorites on this right-hand side? I don't think there are. Alright. So now that we got that taken care of, let's go ahead and bust open the inventory here. The cheese press. 45, 45. We're going to be able to make one. But that's all we can do. We could also make the loom, but we need pine tar for that. And then the loom, I think, is going to be for goats or something like that. Or like sheep. You're going to be able to cultivate those later on. But not right now. The cheese press, we can basically put wherever. I'm sure we've got some extra space around here somewhere where the cheese press can go. I'll probably put it right out in front of the place where we're going to get the raw supplies for it. There it is. I'll probably line up a couple right here. Maybe put one right there. So that we can produce all the cheese that we could ever need. But I love cheese. Who doesn't love cheese? Cheese is delicious. There's so many different varieties, too. That's the thing about cheese. Like, there's so many different kinds that even if you don't like one kind, there's probably loads of other ones that you could try out. You probably like one of those. We got level 7 foraging. Made our axe a little bit better. We got some wild seeds recipes for winter. We got a warp totem to the mountains. I don't even know where the mountains are, so that's going to remain to be seen. We got paid out during this one. I wanted to check and see wild honey's worth 100. Ancient fruit is worth almost 1,000. There's some money to be made. No lie, there's definitely some money to be made right there. If you really truly wanted to get after it, you could make a lot of money down here. Alright, so $15,000 in the bank. We've got a message from George. Found some good quality stone. Maybe you can build with it or something. I appreciate that, George. That's actually a big deal to me. I needed stone. I was about to go down into the dungeon and farm stone for a while, simply based on the fact that I needed it. So George just did me a big old solid, despite the fact that he rubs radishes and shit on his head. He appears to actually have a pretty good sixth sense for the things a man needs. Although granddads, like older men, if you ever need advice on anything, older dudes, man. Guys that are in like their 60s, shit like that, they gotta lock down. It's because they've lived an entire life so far. You save yourself some running mileage for sure. I mean, advice about anything. Hit up your old man or your granddad if you still got him or whoever needs it. And for realsies. I've got some genius level advice out of my family members that are older. Just, just like stuff that you wouldn't even think of. You're just like, man, that's actually a really good point. Maybe that person is acting in their own... Like, they're acting in their own interest, but they're doing it for reasons they don't think or self. It's like, just give you, like, a different perspective on stuff because they've lived life and they've seen it all. And they've worked through all those problems in their heads already. Be down with that. We got that right there. I'll probably bring those with me just in case I need the energy. The milk pail can go inside of there. That can all go inside of there. Definitely not going to need any farming tools down in the dungeon where we are going. And spend a day in the dungeon. Spend a day in the life of a dungeon diving hero. I'll also pick up an apple on the way over there. Because, have no doubt, we will probably need the energy. I should check the bat cave on the way over here too. 
And then there's just a bunch of stuff that I need to get done, and I should probably stay on it. Cool stuff. It's amazing watching our little farm grow and watching this. That's part of the fun of the game is that the expansion is so slow. Like, you move... Oh, we got a gold apple right there. I could have used that a couple days ago. Could have used that a couple days ago. Now, the only thing it's useful for is om nom nomming. Do I have any more harvest ready to go over here? No, just the one for the maple syrup. Oh, that's oak resin. Never mind. The oak resin... We absolutely need that, too. We got lots of good stuff going on right now. Oak resin... Maybe it was pine resin that we needed for the loom, but... That doesn't go in there. That also does not go in there. My house is starting to look like my real life house where it's just like shit stacked everywhere because I can't afford to do anything else. I need to expand my house out before winter gets here so we can start making like the really, really awesome meals and you can start to make some of the cooler, more magical stuff. Just haven't gotten around to it yet. I'm also going to focus on making the wizard like me, I think, by the end of the season. We haven't gotten the four star or the four heart event for Penny either. Which makes me a little bit nervous. I think every two hearts you get an event for somebody that like shows off their background and lets you learn a little bit more about them. But I haven't unlocked it yet. This is a great gift. Thank you. I'm going to give him the good apple because I don't care. We'll keep the other one to ourselves. It's pretty uncommon that I don't find like cave root or something down in here anyways. So the cave tubers keep ourselves all nice and energied up if we need it. And now that we got a new sword, I'm excited about being down in here. I think we can actually make pretty positive strides on this level. Did I put my... I put my pickaxe... God, I am just an idiot. Sometimes I get so upset with myself. I knew I could fix it. Wasted a bunch of time, though. Either way, we don't really have the energy to go that deep into the dungeon. We're mostly on the hunt for stone, too. Like, gold would be accepted. I'll take it, obviously. But is that a ruby right there? Please tell me that's a ruby. It's a ruby. What a fantastic little gemstone. Those beautiful, beautiful corundums. Nothing inside of that crate. This right here looks like it's going to be sapphires, maybe. A diamond. Even better. And then we got an Omni Geo. Wow, this dungeon is off to a great start right now. No lie, everybody. We're about to make some serious money just selling all this stuff off. We may not even need to hold on. And that's why I clear out my inventory right there before I go into the dungeon. Every single time. I'm going to try and take the Darkness Essences over to Merlin or whatever his name is hand those off. I don't think his name's actually Merlin. I just call him Merlin because it's easier than actually learning his real name. If they're going to make me, if you make a, a pick out of gold in this game, gold is very, very soft. I think that's like common knowledge. I think most people just know that. But gold is an incredibly soft mess metal. You don't really want to make tools out of it. Good for conducting though. Just in case you're into musical stuff. Still don't feel like we're killing things much faster, but that's okay. We've got three gold ore on that side. We got four copper ore on that side. This little dude right here has got to go right this second. I'm going to stay after the gold ore because making more sprinklers expands what I can do next spring with my crop supply. Coal would definitely not be turned down either, which is the reason why I brought the coal stack down here with me. It's because I knew I was going to end up with a stack of it anyways, so I might as well hold on to it for now. Break all those down. That's probably something that I'll just throw out later. Try to get all the enemies on one side of me. Before this gets too far out of control. Don't want to eat too many lasers. Got the parry off. It looks like he has blinded me or something. I don't know. Either way, he's dead now, so it didn't save him. Ooh. There's a little thingy inside of there. Wow. This dungeon's getting tough, isn't it? Dungeon's getting real tough. Alright, let's eat the apple. That's more for the health than anything else. And then we got one of those special cake things, too. I don't know if it's truly going to help, but... Since we already found the exit, let's keep going down. We're on floor 94 right now. couple little helmety guys down in here. At the moment, our health is low enough to where we're at a real risk of dying if we spawn one of those bat things, basically. Oh, he gave us iron ore, too. Good. I like iron ore. Dismember a couple shadows over here because that's the level we operate on. Dismembering the shadows. The splatter cat story. I will have to milk the cows, by the way. So, if I could get up and out of here to the 95th floor in the next couple minutes, I wouldn't complain about it. You want to drop a ladder for me, Chief? No? 
No ladder droppage. How much does that cake give me? 50 energy and 20 health. Go ahead and eat that thing. Just as a little bit of a safety net in case things get gnarlier than we can handle. A little bit of stone out, but not enough. Definitely going to need more for building projects. I think the other thing is your character's hitbox is pretty generous. Like, enemies just have to get close enough and they damage on touch, so it's just like, eh. Got a magma geode right there. It's 4.20 in the afternoon. It usually means it's spark it time. He didn't drop a ladder for us either. We're so close. All I need to do is find this ladder and then we're the hell on out of here. But I just can't seem to locate it. It's going to be one of those floors. Doesn't really matter because we need the stone, but still. Wow. Bad luck. Bad, bad luck this time around. Either that or one of these little guys has it. Where is the ladder? Give me the ladder. Oh, man, he didn't have it either. What a day. As it turns out, I think you have to milk cows every day. Otherwise, they get, like, sore udders and they get infections and stuff like that. And it gets into the milk. And, yeah, it's pretty disgusting, right? Think about that for a second. Just get the mental image and just be like, ugh. Grossness. They're going to make me mine this entire floor. I can tell already. Son of a bitch. This was not something that I could have foreseen. We've almost used like an entire stamina bar trying to find this ladder. Got Omni Geodes though. Wow. Still nothing, huh? See, that's just incredible to me. Like, how have we not found it yet? That's really, really incredible. I was supposed to be out of here like hours ago. There. <laughs> Finally. I just didn't want to leave empty-handed. Let's go ahead and go back up to the surface. I think the cows are going to be asleep by this point, so it's not even going to matter. I don't think I'm going to be able to get anything done, but I can still give it a try. Guter wants the ruby, so that's okay. He can have the ruby. He can take my first one anyways. I do feel like he's a little bit greedy taking the first and best versions of everything that I like. I'm going to walk on back. I'm going to catch you in the next episode. This game is called Stardew Valley. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle for the next episode. It's been a lot of fun. I will see you all next time. Hadoo, bye.